Do you ever wonder why kids are afraid of the most dumb things? <laughs> like seriously, kids are afraid of some really stupid things. And I'm sure there's some deep psychological meaning behind why that happens. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're just here to talk about dumb childhood fears in general. I'm sure you as a kid were afraid of really stupid things, as was I. Oh, now it's time for the obligatory joke of, oh, Morgan, I thought you still were a kid. Oh, Morgan, I thought you were 15. Uh -huh, I've never heard that one before. Anyway, childhood fears are just kind of hilarious to me and I love hearing about the dumb things other people were afraid of as kids. So today I'm going to share with you the stupid things I was afraid of as a kid. And not only am I going to face these fears in this video, but we are going to rank them. I made a tier list here for my childhood fears. Let's look at the top tier first, it's terrifying. This is where it will go if I'm still terrified of this thing today, if I think it's scary still, like that's where it's going. Under that we have a little scary. We're gonna put things here that I still, you know, I think are a little scary, but you know, I'm not gonna lose sleep over them or anything. Next, the middle tier, we have unsettling, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. If it gives me an unsettling feeling, that's where it'll go. Next is, I can see why you were afraid of this. We're gonna put stupid fears here that I am over, but I can see why I was afraid of them. And at the bottom tier, we have, why were you ever afraid of this, you weirdo? And this is for the truly stupid fears that just make no sense and make me wonder, why were you ever afraid of this, you weirdo? So let's get started with the first fear. So I put this video together that has all of my stupid childhood fears in it. Most of them have a clip to go along with it so you guys can see what I'm talking about and so that I am forced to face said fear. And that'll really help me figure out where it should go on the tier list. So first up we have, this guy. So I had the game Dance Dance Revolution Supernova 2 as a kid, and my dad and I played it all the time. And whenever you would play a song, there would just be a character in the background dancing, and you couldn't pick which character was in the background, like, it just randomly picked one for you. And this is one of the characters, and I was terrified of him. When he was on screen, I would run and hide, and I was so afraid of this man. Now we haven't watched the clip yet, and we're not at the ranking phase yet, but just looking at him, I don't know, I don't really like the smile he's giving, but other than that, if you were to ask someone to draw someone from the 70s, they would draw this guy. Like, he's just a stereotypical 70s dude. I'm really not sure why I was afraid of him, but I guess that's why this is a video on stupid fears. Anyway, why don't we roll the clip I have for him? Oh, he, there he is, he's dancing. Obviously I'm going to replace the music because the song is de most definitely copyrighted. He's just floating on a disc in a void. Oh. He kind of gave up on dancing there for a minute. Oh, get it. Oh, if anything, I'm just kind of impressed thus far. Oh, he, oh, okay. Don't like the smile. <laughs> that, that's the one part I don't like. Uh, he gave up on dancing again. Oh, <laughs> he just keeps doing the same thing. He'll stop dancing and then just go. Okay, get it, okay. Oh, he gave up again, you're gonna. No, it was a different move that time. Oh, and he's still dancing even though the stage ended. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to put Dance Dance Revolution guy on the tier list. I gotta say, I was totally fine watching that. <laughs> I was not afraid of him at all. Like, like I said, when I was watching it, the only thing that really bothered me was when he smiled. Like maybe that's what I didn't like as a kid. I also think maybe I just didn't like his eyes being covered. My eye, that might've just been menacing to me for some reason. But I don't think the smile is enough for me to put him in the unsettling tier. And I also cannot understand why I was afraid of this. So I think right off the bat, we're gonna have to put this one in. Why were you ever afraid of this, you weirdo? All right, that's one fear down. Let's see what's next. Ah, the Shrek doll. If you are an OG fan of this channel <laughs> and you have insane memory, then you'll remember that I have mentioned this doll once before. Basically, my grandma got me this Shrek doll as a kid. And whenever you squeezed him, he talked. And just in general, I didn't really like toys that talked as a kid, but I was fine with him at first until I squeezed him and he burped. And I have no idea why, but this was, I hated that. Like, I was scared of this doll. I had hallucinations at night where I thought it was like going off on its own in the next room. It definitely wasn't. I never watched Shrek again after getting this doll. Like I, Hated it with every fiber of my being. <laughs> but I did find a clip of this doll online, so let's take a look. Thank you very much. I'm here to birthday. Uh, there is the burp. Onion, I say. Why is that scary? Ogres are like onions. In what way? <laughs> Ogres are like onions. In what way, Shrek? Why did you not elaborate on that? Okay, back to the tier list. Uh, that burp was not scary. It's a burp. It, you just, it, it's Shrek, of course he's going to do that. Like, what, what, huh? I mean, like I said, I had a thing about toys that talked. I didn't really like that, but it wasn't the fact that he talked. It was the fact that he burped specifically. I can't believe we're starting with two right off the bat going into the why were you ever afraid of this, you weirdo tier, but 
I feel like it's gotta go there. All right, next up, we have the Creeper from Scooby-Doo. This is gonna be the first of several Scooby-Doo related fears. I was very big into Scooby-Doo as a kid, okay? I love Scooby-Doo. <laughs> now the Creeper here might be the most justified stupid fear on the list because looking at him, he is kind of scary. I mean, he's called the Creeper, which by the way, when I was looking for pictures of him in preparation for this video, I just searched the Creeper on Google and some horrifying thing came up and I don't know what it was, but it wasn't him. So if you're ever looking for him, make sure to add Scooby-Doo to the end of your search. But yeah, for years, I would not watch this episode of Scooby-Doo because I was so scared of the Creeper. He would just run around hunched over going paper and I hated that. I mean, I have watched this episode a few times since, I guess, officially getting over the sphere of the creeper. But I will say, if I'm gonna watch an episode of Scooby-Doo, this is probably gonna be towards the bottom of the list, just because I was so scared of him as a kid. Now I have two clips prepared of the creeper here. Uh, one is a clip of him from the actual episode. And the second clip is from a Scooby-Doo video game that I played all the time as a kid called Scooby-Doo, Night of a Hundred Frights. And there's this part in the game where you walk into the room and the creeper is there and it like zooms in on him and you're on like slippy floor trying to like slide away from him and I hated it. So those are the two clips of the creeper we're going to look at. Okay. Come on, that's scary. They're, they just go to the mystery machine and he's somehow in there. How do you get in there? Look how he runs, that's scary. That's what he do to me, because I have glasses on. Okay, here we go, here's, here's the video game clip. Oh, featuring Shaggy. <laughs> this is an iconic game, okay? Look, see, you're slipping on the floor. That's scary stuff. Okay, I can totally see why I was scared of this one. I'd say it's probably the least stupid fear on this list. And I feel like any kid who watched Scooby-Doo had at least one villain that they were scared of. Honestly, I think I'm gonna put the creeper in a little scary because he is a little scary. Okay, the hotel manager. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on the hotel manager because I've actually talked about him on this channel before. There's basically a whole video dedicated to this guy already. But here's the simplified quick version if you don't know. Basically, when I was a kid, my dad got this game called Phantasmat. It is a point and click hidden objects game and it's got a spooky theme. In the game you stay at a hotel and there is a hotel manager. This guy. He doesn't have a name or anything. He's just the hotel manager. I watched my dad play this whole game despite the fact that I was terrified of this hotel manager. Do you know how scared I was of him? I would lay in my bed at night, hiding under my covers, and I would literally pray to God. <laughs> like, I would pray to God. Like. Dear God, please don't let the hotel manager come and get me. I truly thought that this guy was hiding in my closet waiting to kill me. Now listen, I am a full grown adult now. I know that the hotel manager is not hiding in my closet waiting to kill me, but I did not prepare a clip for the hotel manager because I thought I would just go ahead and show you the clip from whenever a few years ago on my channel, I decided to play this game for Halloween and face my fear of the hotel manager. Here's how it went. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. No! Look at him! He's awful! What? He look- Okay, is it just- Please, come in. I don't want to. His voice? <gasps> Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck that! Hmm. A stranger. His voice? Oh, also, he's doing it to him. Nonetheless, welcome to our fine hotel. I don't want to be here. What brings you here on such a dark and stormy night? I could have died. We don't see many. I wonder why. Not since the town was flooded. Maybe not since people saw your face. Your car, I see. Did you happen to notice any downed power poles? Yeah. I wish I got electrocuted I by them instead of looking at you. Such bad luck. Ah! Such bad luck indeed. Shut the fuck up. As a fellow human being. As a fellow human being. Oh. Nice and comfy. Maybe this place isn't so bad. Excuse me. Have you seen this face? Of course it's that bad. The staircase ah! leads to our fire. <laughs> However, I'm afraid I cannot allow you to access them. I'm afraid the rooms are Ooh. occupied already. Yeah? And think about the lack of light in the uh -huh. darkness. I didn't it's think he was going to talk. I wish I could tell you guys that I was joking in this video and that I was playing it up for the video, but I wasn't. I was genuinely terrified of this man. And as soon as I finished recording that video, I deleted the game because I did not like the idea of him living on my computer. So yeah, hotel manager, I know where he's going on this tier list. He's going straight on up to terrifying because I hate him still. Okay, next up we have 
a baby doll. I don't have a clip prepared for this one either. The reason why is because there is no clip to show for this one. The explanation, I once had a dream that one of my baby dolls came to life and was walking around the living room and then I never touched said baby doll again because I thought it was going to get up and walk towards me. I have no idea how to find that exact baby doll. I don't know what it was called, so... I just have a picture of a baby doll here. But when I was looking at pictures of baby dolls for this tier list, a lot of them kind of scary looking. So for this one, because of the weird dream and just the fact that baby dolls can sometimes look like this, I'm gonna put the baby doll in the unsettling tier. Ah, the fire breathing groupie. I love how I just say that like, oh yeah, the fire breathing groupie. You guys know them, right? Another game that I played as a kid was Scooby-Doo Unmasked. And one of the enemies in the game was this girl. She was referred to as the fire breathing groupie. She breathed fire and she had a creepy laugh. And sometimes you'd just be walking and she'd appear out of nowhere and I didn't like that. So let's take a look at the fire breathing groupie, shall we? There she is, oh no! Breathing fire! Okay, what is she twirling? Oh, okay, the way she runs at you is kind of creepy. There's the laugh, did not like the laugh. Okay, fire breathing groupie, where do you belong on the tier list? I'm going back and forth between unsettling and I can see why you were afraid of this. If I were to play the game now, I might still be a little wary of her just for the fact that sometimes she would just appear out of nowhere. But watching that video, I feel nothing. But she does have the creepy laugh, she breathes fire, she's a groupie. <laughs> You know, groupies are scary. So I'm gonna put the fire breathing groupie in. I can see why you were afraid of this. Ah, okay, we are now going to talk about another video game. I'm noticing a lot of my stupid fears stem from video games. What can I say? I was always a gamer, a Scooby-Doo gamer, and a Hot Shot Golf 3 gamer. Another great PS2 game. I didn't play it much myself. I mostly just watched my dad play it because I sucked. It's called Hot Shot Golf 3. Not much explanation, it's just a golf game. No, I picked this picture because I was scared of like, most of the characters in this game. I mean, look at them. They're all kind of unsettling. But I also picked this picture because I was scared of one person more than the rest. And it was this guy. His name is T-Bone. Yeah, I was scared of a guy named T-Bone. I'll be honest, I don't know why he was the most scary out of all of them. The title was just up for grabs. It could have been any of these guys. They're all creepy. But I have prepared some clips of good old T-Bone here, nonetheless. Oh, okay, this is the intro for some of the characters, including T-Bone. There he is. He's in a coffin, that's scary. I was scared of all of them though, except for her. I liked her because she looked like a bumblebee. <laughs> Did I not like his deep voice? I mean, he's intimidating. Was this another case of me just like, not liking that you couldn't see the eyes? Was it the deep voice? He's just kind of a guy named T-Bone who golfs. I am gonna go ahead and put him in the unsettling tier though. Just for the simple fact that all of the characters in that game are unsettling. Oh boy, look at who is next. None other than animatronic dancing Santa Claus. Look, my history with this thing is very long and extensive. If you wanna hear about it someday, maybe I will tell you. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna keep it short. The most short version of this story is that my grandma, had an animatronic dancing Santa Claus. I think this is the exact one she had. Like I am 99% sure that this is the exact one that she had. It is the only picture on the internet that I could find of that exact Santa. Basically, it was a life-size Santa animatronic. And when you walked past him, he would sing and dance. And you see how his arms are like this? He'd go, that's not natural Santa. Why do you dance like that? I just kind of don't really like animatronics in general. And this was a big one in my grandma's house every December. I was just scared that when I walked past it, he was just gonna start going like this and really, really fast. And then he was gonna get me. If I had to walk past him, someone had to pick me up and carry me past him. My poor grandma, she tried everything she could. She put towels over his head, she turned him off, nothing worked. I was terrified of him. Eventually she just stopped putting him out one year. Now I can tell you for a fact, I am 100% still afraid of dancing Santas in general. I hate them. I think they're terrifying. And let's look at this video to prove it to you. Look at that. That's not natural. Why is the one next to him bent backwards like that? Why is there a row of them? This is awful. Yeah, I couldn't find a video of the exact Santa, both fortunately and unfortunately. Now listen, you may think that this is a stupid fear and you'd be right to think that because this entire video is about stupid childhood fears. But as recent as 2019, I got jump scared in real life by an animatronic Santa and I screamed. I still hate them, okay? They're awful, they shouldn't exist. Oh, but Morgan, it's just jolly old Saint Nick. He's here to bring joy and toys to the children. He didn't bring joy to this child. He brought fear. I mean, I loved Santa, 
but not this kind of Santa. I don't care, I'm putting him in the terrifying category. Next up, we have the Ocean City Shark. My family and I used to go on vacation to Ocean City, Maryland every single year. On their boardwalk, they've got a Ripley's Believe It or Not building, and they've got this shark animatronic kind of like going through the building to look like a shark somehow like flew through the building and now it's stuck there. And every now and then it'll move back and forth. Honestly, now I think it's pretty cool. But as you know, this video is about stupid childhood fears. And guess what this child was afraid of? In fact, someone took a picture of me seeing the shark from a distance. Here it is. Don't I look terrified? Also, which one of my family members did this? Which one of them was like, oh, the shark's coming up. I'm gonna run in front of Morgan and take a picture of her in fear. I'm not even mad. That's kind of hilarious. I would do the same thing. Why don't we take a look at the shark though, shall we? There he is, he's moving. He doesn't really move much. There's a bird on his head. I mean, the bird trusts it. Truly though, now I think the shark is really cool. I like it. I've seen it in recent years and yeah, I'm fine. I think it's neat. I like seeing it now. But it is a big giant animatronic shark towering above my head. So this one is going to go in the, I can see why you were afraid of this tier. Oh boy, okay. I can assure you this is probably the stupidest fear on this list. Now you may be asking yourself, Morgan, who is this man? This man? is Jeff Tate. He was the lead singer of the band Queensryche. My family and I used to watch a lot of 80s rock and metal music videos. I don't know why, we, we just did. And the group Queensryche would come up quite a bit. And good old Jeff Tate here. I'm so sorry, Jeff Tate. Like what if he's actually like a really nice guy and I was scared of him? Yes, I was afraid of this man. I was afraid of the lead singer of Queensryche. He's literally just a dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of ashamed and embarrassed to admit that I was afraid of just this dude. But I remember the first time I saw him, it was the music video for the song Empire. So that's what we're gonna look at today. And we're gonna see if I can get to the bottom of why I <laughs> thought he was scary. Again, obviously for copyright reasons, you're not gonna be hearing the actual song. However, Empire freaking slaps. Okay, it's a great song. Queensryche actually, they've got some good songs. Go listen to Empire. Some of you will be like, no, I don't like rock or metal. And I say, boo, <laughs> boo, you're missing out. Empire slaps. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, that's scary imagery. Maybe his face paired with the scary imagery. Oh, he's blurry, ooh. Oh, I, I know for a fact I didn't like that. I didn't like him with his arms crossed like. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, I know I didn't like that. Look at him, he's scary. He's just a guy, I, I can't even try and justify it. <laughs> that video was the beginning of my fear for Jeff Tate though. Like, I guess I just really did not like him making angry faces in the dark. But I think we all know where this is going on the tier list. Like, I can promise you, this is the stupidest fear of them all. Jeff Tate, you are going to, why were you ever afraid of this, you weirdo? Oh no, not this one. Am I gonna regret sharing this one? Yes, that is my baby picture next to Arthur. This is Arthur's new friend. Back in the day, you could submit a picture of your child and they would take the picture and put it in to a very exclusive episode of a show like Arthur and they would make it into a VHS and send it to you. My aunt decided to make one for me, and I hated it. My poor aunt got this lovely gift and I would cry every time it came on. Truly my whole family thinks this video is hilarious and they think it's even more funny that I was scared of it. Arthur says your name in the video and the way he says it is weird. Arthur's new friend starring Morgan. And yeah, uh, I just, I didn't like my face being in this. And I'm only going to show you a very, very short clip of this. And it's also a clip that's not that bad because ah, uh, I mean, it's funny, but also like, there's a part where my head is on a dog. There's a part where my head is on a knight in shining armor. I know I'm a baby in this, but like, it's kind of embarrassing, okay? I don't want that on the internet. <laughs> so I'm only going to show you this short little clip and just to give you, just to give you a taste. That's all you get. You're not getting any more than that. That was bad enough. I can't even believe I'm putting that out there. Look, I was a cute kid and that is just such an unflattering picture of me. And I also don't even know where the original picture is. Maybe because it was sent away. <laughs> Whoever made this video just has that baby picture of me. Look, it's not scary. Like I don't really know why I was afraid of it, but it is unsettling. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in unsettling. Back to Scooby-Doo. I had another Scooby-Doo video game. Why is every Scooby-Doo video game I had <laughs> making an appearance in this video. This one was called Scooby-Doo First Frights. Basically, the game was separated into four episodes and the fourth episode was terrifying to me for multiple reasons. We're gonna get into two of those reasons in this video. Here's the first one, this werewolf. It was an enemy and I hated it. It was just really scary to me. And then there was a sequel to this game called The Spooky Swamp and they brought the werewolf back and I cried. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's big, he's scary. 
Also, yes, Scooby-Doo is using a sausage as a weapon. This game's iconic, okay? They got scary growls. They're big. I can't say I'm too bothered by these guys anymore, and my fear of them was a bit extreme, considering I cried. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the I can see why you were afraid of this tier. All right, continuing on, same game, same fourth episode that I was scared of. The main big bad monster for this episode of the game was this witch. And what can I say? I was terrified of her. She was also the only monster in the game that wasn't like revealed to be someone in a mask. She was actually a real witch. So first we're gonna take a look at the introduction clip for her, and then we're gonna take a look at her boss fight. Ooh, the scream. That, that's that's scary. I can I can see why I didn't like that. Okay, here's the boss. Now she's giant. Oh, oh, she had a portal that shot out werewolves. I didn't remember that. Okay, no wonder I didn't like her. Ooh, she's got a weapon now. She's a bit intense for kids. I will admit. I think I was kind of valid in this one. She's kind of a lot. That scream she did was intense. All right, scary witch is gonna go in a little scary. All right, welcome back to Morgan being scared of toys that talked. A My Little Pony. I don't know which My Little Pony that is. The interest I had in My Little Pony was strictly the toys. I didn't watch any show for My Little Pony or anything. Like that was kind of after my time. Either way, it was this pony and she was a baby. I have a feeling my fear might be justified in this one. She's kind of unsettling. Also, she doesn't look like a baby. It looks like the pony normally just in footy pajamas with a binky, which is even more unsettling. Yeah, it would talk, which of course, I didn't like that. I don't know why I asked for toys that talked. I knew I was gonna hate them. I turned her on when I first got her and then she was off. The rest of the time she was in my possession. I did find a video of her on YouTube, so let's look at her. Ooh, the noises she makes. I just got chills. Can I have a kiss? No! any of these videos yet, I just kind of stuck them in here. That way I could react to them authentically. No wonder I hated that thing! Did you hear the noises it made when it would move its head? Before I started recording, I thought that maybe this My Little Pony would go in a little scary. I think it belongs in terrifying! It's awful! I just gotta go in terrifying! Oh my god! Man, okay, I was justified in that one. Maybe that one's not a stupid fear. That's awful! Alright, we've made it to the final stupid fear on the list. It is the... Yama Yama scene from Police Academy 4, I believe? I've never seen the Police Academy movies in full. I've just seen scenes here and there. My parents really like them though, and there is a scene in one of them that made me cry as a kid. It scared me so much. And it is called the Yama Yama scene. Basically all I remember about it is that there's a guy in a disguise chanting Yama Yama, and I didn't like that. And then there's a guy with a chainsaw which I also did not like. So why don't we see if the scene reduces me to tears like it did as a kid? Also, this clip is probably gonna be manipulated in some way to try and avoid copyright, including flipping the video, coloring it, pitch. Just a heads up. Yama, 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 yama. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the laugh is creepy. Oh, here comes the chainsaw. Okay, this chainsaw part's kind of going on for a long time. Like. Come on, show him. There he is. Well, I guess they weren't as good as they thought they were. Again, I've never seen the movies, but based on that dialogue at the end there, it seems like it was all just a silly prank. Okay, the chanting and the laugh, unsettling. The chainsaw, not as scary as I remember it being. It just looks like a knockoff Jason. I would put it in unsettling, but like I said, based on the dialogue at the end, it seemed like maybe those are the protagonists and they were just messing with some people. I, I don't know. I mean, they're comedy movies, so that's actually probably supposed to be a funny scene. I just had none of the context of it and was a dumb child. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in, I can see why you were afraid of this. And we've done it. We've made it through all of my stupid childhood fears. Let's take a final look at the tier list here. We've got a pretty even spread across all the tiers. In terrifying, we've got the hotel manager, animatronic Santa, and the My Little Pony doll. That thing was worse than I thought it would be. In A Little Scary, we've got the creeper and that witch lady. In Unsettling, we have the baby doll, the hotshot golf guy, and Arthur's new friend. In I Can See Why You're Afraid of This, we've got the fire-breathing groupie, the animatronic shark, the werewolf, and the Yama Yama scene. And finally, in the Why Were You Ever Afraid of This, You Weirdo tier, we have the Dance Dance Revolution guy, the Shrek doll, 
and Jeff Tate. I would have to say the stupidest of all of these fears has got to be Jeff Tate. <laughs> Do you guys agree? Is that the stupidest one? He's literally just a singer. But yeah, those are my stupid childhood fears. I'm sure there was probably more <laughs> that I was scared of, but I just can't remember. But if you had some really dumb things that you were afraid of as a kid, I would love for you to tell me about them in the comments below. Like I said, I think stupid childhood fears are just hilarious. And the ultimate question is, do you have a fear that is more stupid than Jeff Tate? <laughs> but with that, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe and tell me what you would like for me to talk about next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. And don't forget to check your closet. The hotel manager might be in there.